What's up, Connecticut? We're here with Spiro Kaloris, the general manager over here at Firebox Restaurant. We're in Hartford, Connecticut. We're right by our capital. And they are giving us an amazing opportunity today. We're gonna have some brunch. So Spiro is going to go over the menu with us today. How are you doing, Spiro? I'm doing great, thank you. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm, I'm really excited for this food, actually. Good, good. Should be out pretty <laughs> soon. We've been doing brunch at Firebox since January, and it's really started to pick up some momentum, and we're really proud of our brunch. We have it kind of broken down to a little bit more of an a la carte so that you can mix and match different different uh, you know menu items and kind of build your own brunch. We also have our a special cocktail menu just for brunch. Our bartenders come in first thing in the morning and, and all our juices are fresh squeezed the morning of. I'm having a grapefruit mimosa, which I've never had. It's always orange juice, so this is amazing. I'm gonna test it right here in front of you. Oh, that's good. <laughs> We're here with Sam Tanishan. She's rocking it out behind the bar right now. She just made us some awesome drinks. Uh, we got a Bloody Mary here. We have a grapefruit mimosa. I wanna know though, what are your favorite drinks to make over here? Um, it's kind of hard to fall in love with anything to make around here because the menu is always changing and that's, you know, the whole thing about Firebox is, you know, we only have what's on the menu as long as the seasons are. Look who just walked in. This is Spiro's wife, Julia. Julia, what do you get on the menu? Hi. Um, it's actually <laughs> my first time at brunch, but the food here is amazing. Before Spiro we even started working here, this is our favorite restaurant to come and eat at, which is kind of a little sad because we come less now, mm -hmm. you know, because he's like, it's my night off, but every time I've eaten here, it's been the best food I've ever had. What are you making? This is a Violet Gin Fizz. Citadel Gin, one and a half ounces. An ounce of lemon juice that we fresh squeeze also every day. Half ounce of Violet liqueur, Violet simple syrup, and then an egg white. All right, let's see you shake the crap out of it. What you have to do. <laughs> do you have an amount of times you do this? Um, not really. Am I throwing you off? Are you trying no. to count? <laughs> Wait, I'm supposed to try that? Everyone's supposed to try that. <laughs> wow, that drink is dazzling. I think that that's the word I'm gonna have to give it. Look at all this food coming out right now. This looks delicious. Spiro, what we got here? Duck confit, fried egg, a little crispy uh, duck skin on top. Oh my gosh. Um, some duck confit, some dusting, some grilled peaches, some lemon cukes, and some uh, chickpeas, and some pea tendrils. Wow. And then we have our Four Mile River Farm burger with our homemade aioli and hand cut fries always. One of my favorites. Wow. And a butter brioche roll. The yogurt really in a jar. Everything. Greek yogurt, some local honey from Farmington, and the granola is actually made right next door at the Kitchen Cafe. There's even more food coming out now. Look at this. Damn. What do we have here? Eggs Benedict with salmon pastrami and fried eggplant. And we have a side of hash browns with smoked paprika aioli. Awesome. And what's your name? My name is John. John, I'm Jenna. Hi. Nice to meet you. Are you responsible for all this? I'm responsible for some of it. There's <laughs> two other people back there and a whole bunch of other people throughout the week. We changed four or five menu items today uh, because it, you know what we had last week wasn't in the house anymore. And uh, what we had today was better or fresher or, or sounds better to us. So well, I can't wait. <laughs> well, dig in. Just going through your brunch items, what you guys ordered today. Um, one common theme for, for brunch and, and all our food here is that it's local. So you're eating eggs from Ruit Farm, which is from Torrington, Connecticut. You're having duck from Marwin Farm, which is from Bark Hampstead. And also Four Mile River Farm uh, beef from Old Lyme, Connecticut. And uh, all our cheeses are, I mean, we get uh, your, some of the feta cheeses from Sweet Pea Farms and Granby. Jones's Honey from Farmington, Connecticut. So it's all fresh and local. Mmm. Bloody fantastic. Awesome. <laughs> So, you know, we're sitting here in front of a firebox and we have our, our patio up and uh, we kind of took a little different approach to uh, our, our flowers and decoration this year. We have all sorts of kind of cool edible stuff. We've got some great basil out here. And, Let me try it. Sure. And um, you see the tomatoes are coming in. Mm -hmm. And um, we have some fresh mint and going right on down all sorts of some oregano. So, yeah. We're making some cocktails. You just come out here and grab some things That's and awesome. muddle away. We do a lot of happy hour specials out here. Sometimes we'll grill out here, but uh, yeah, we have all sorts of kind of cool events and sometimes music out here as well. 
is a little oasis. Where are you taking us in these back alleys? <laughs> so we're actually just behind the firebox right now. To the right of us are some residence apartments and to the left is the firebox. So we're gonna take it right here. We're gonna go over to the community garden. And here we are at our community garden. Oh wow, that's beautiful. This Look is at this. Every Thursday from 11 to two, we have a farmer's market here. And on that same Thursday, our chef will come out, gather whatever vegetables look interesting to him, and he'll create a four course wow. vegetable tasting menu that is made, honestly, a couple hours before dinner service. Here's some lavender that um, sometimes our, our bartenders will come out and we have a cocktail made with lavender. Yep. And it's called, yeah, Lily's Lemonade. <laughs> and so uh, this is kind of something that, you can smell that. Mm. Firebox is owned by a charitable trust and um, the restaurant is actually a for-profit, although it's for-profit, essentially all the profit goes back to the non-profit Billings Forge. Mm -hmm. um, so it's kind of like the for-profit arm for a non-profit organization. We're here in Frog Hollow to help find the root causes and help prevent poverty okay. and, and homelessness. So, um, you know, it's, it's great to work for such an amazing restaurant with amazing food. It's just doing like really, really kind of inspiring farm to table food but it's actually you know it's got it's got good stuff going on too you know it's it's mission driven it's not just about money it's about actually promoting positive change in, in different neighborhoods we're standing in front of the kitchen at Billings Forge and that's kind of uh, they are a catering company a bakery uh, they make amazing lunches. If you're coming in for a bit more lighter fare, they also do a lot with farm to table as well. Cool. Um, and and they have an amazing chef, uh, Julie, and they, they just it's a really really nice little spot. Okay, so uh, you know we're walking back into the ta into the tavern uh, portion of Firebox, and this whole area was all um, the Billings and Spencer Company, Billings Forge. It used to be an old forge where they would make hand tools, I think, but also bicycle wrenches and things like that. All right, so walk us through. Let's check this out. A lot of the customers right away like one of their favorite features walking into the firebox besides the AC mm -hmm. is uh, the original loft. And, yeah. Uh, all the exposed timber and wood up there. It's kind of impressive and kind of makes a, a great creates Definitely. a great identity for this room. So we're walking through this is our middle dining room. We showcase some uh, artwork from local artists and now we're entering into our uh, our main dining room. Uh, and this is just kind of where you'll come in on a Friday night and have uh, dinner for yourself. Yes, we will. <laughs> Here's our main dining room. Still staying honest with the old kind of structure of the building, all the exposed brick. Spiro, thank you so much for Anytime. today. This thank was awesome. I can't wait to get this in. post up. Yeah. Everybody should come over to the firebox. Absolutely. Delicious food, awesome people. We're actually going to get a photo with the firebox family right yeah, now. Yeah, so yeah. let's do that up. All right, great. Awesome.